Hello and welcome to another edition of the Evet Screencast. My name is Christian Förster and this is the third of several episodes outlining a complete red workflow for your Avid editing application. And this week we'll conform a sequence that was offline edited in Avid to uncompressed uh, HD for finishing within Avid, Media Composer or Symphony. And for this again we'll use Monkey Extract. Now there again this is our sequence that we also used in the last red episode. So let's duplicate that sequence. Call it conform. And this time we'll use an XML transfer. So open Filmscribe, which is the XML tool from Avid. So now we'll have to open the bin that contains the sequence. So we'll say file open and drill down and just drag and drop the sequence that you want to conform. There we go. Say that it should be a scan list, list options, use cam roll and you should be fine. In the global settings, say template XML. and separate list for each channel. Let's say preview. That is the XML. And save the XML. Now open monkey extract and say render red footage. Again, you'll have to specify the source directory of where you are uh, R3 files are situated. Choose Evit's film, scribe XML, and tell the program where it actually is. And now go to the render settings. We'll create quick times, uncompressed 42 10 bit um, HD. You could, of course, also uh, go for the NX HD high bandwidth codec if, if that's sufficient for you, but uh, for the sake of the argument, we use uncompressed HD. Keep all the other options the way they are. And now we'll scale the output resolution as Avid is not capable of 4K. We'll scale it to HD, 1080. If your project has a two by one aspect ratio, but uh, HD, of course, has uh, a 60 by 9 aspect ratio. We'll have to deal with that. And you have to choose what method it is supposed to use to, to fit that into an HD frame. If you want to know about the other tabs here, check out Avid Screencast number 9, where I go into detail about these. But for this, in this case, we'll leave them the way they are. Tell Monkey Extract where to output and hit Start Render. And Monkey Extract is magically finding all the clips and starts rendering. And that will take quite some time. All right, now that uh, Monkey Extract is done, we, you can quit the program and open a program called MetaCheetah that you can download for free off the internet. The link will be in the show notes, of course. Hit select the QTs and go to the folder that you rendered to. Select all the QuickTimes and open these files. Now for tape, say R3D file name and you can leave the camera roll the way it is. Say file top ALE, makes sense. And use all the settings that you need. Say process. Save list. And save the list somewhere that it makes sense to you. Now we'll go back to Avid. Create a new bin. Call it conform. Put the master conform thingy in there. Import the ALE. 
that we just created. There it is. Go to clip and hit batch import. Import clips with offline media only. You can you can say that because you have not yet imported anything. So they should all be offline, but you can also say all clips. Set the file location for all the clips. For video resolution, we'll choose uncompressed 10-bit MXF files and hit import. And now Avid starts importing all the media in HD uncompressed. And all we have to do after that is relink it to the conformed uh, master sequence. Okay, now that this import is done, let's go ahead and change the column view here a bit. Take some columns that we'll need now to the front. Now I can see all the clips have been imported in all of their uncompressed glory. What we'll do now is decompose the old sequence. So let's decompose this one and make it offline. Creates a new sequence, a decomposed sequence that is offline and a lot of clips that are offline too. And those we'll have to relink to the newly uh, imported footage. And that would be very, very easy if the tape names matched. If you imported your footage using Metafuse as described in Ever Screencast number eight, they won't match because uh, of different naming conventions. Abbott Metafuse uh, puts the name that we need now in the cam roll column. Now there's no easy way to just copy all those names over to the tape column, but you'll have to do it tape by tape. To do this, mark the clips with the same tape name. Go to Clip, Modify, Set Source, and use the source that is given in the cam roll column. Okay, okay, okay. As you see, you have to confirm pretty often because uh, changing the tape name is a pretty severe thing to do, but that's what we have to do. So you have to do this for all the tapes, and I know it's a hassle, and I'm, I'm not really sure how to how to get around that when, when you import uh, in the first place with Metafuse. It should be different if you import with Red Rushes or Red Cineax, which, you know, kind of uses Red Rushes. And we'll probably do that in a, in a later podcast, but uh, for the time being, if you use Metafuse, you'll have to do it this way, I think, anyway. If, if, if you don't, you know, if there's an easier way, just, just please, please go ahead and, and tell me. Now you can see they match up perfectly. So mark all the clips and the sequence that you want to relink and go to clip, relink, and just say, okay. And there we go, we have a great, nice sequence that we can rename to Master Online or whatever. And it's all in uncompressed HD for all your onlining pleasure. So uh, thank you for watching this episode of the Avid Screencast. Uh, if you like, go ahead and subscribe to the podcast at avidscreencast.com. Uh, or watch past episodes there or do whatever you like and if you have any comments or suggestions drop me a line at mail at avidscreencast.com or comment on the website and don't forget to follow me on twitter at twitter.com slash avidscreencast and also on facebook at facebook.com slash avidscreencast if you like to know what kinds of stuff i do professionally check out editguy.de 
that's my website. Um, and so once again, thanks for watching. See you next week. Have a great couple of days till then and uh, goodbye.